First of all, loving literature is that um, I read everything. There's just there's there's not one favorite thing. Everything from probably the worst written mystery to you know great uh, biographies, etc. Um, but it's the joy of the differences of experience that you read through writers, and I, I think that's what writing is all about. Um, it's the variety of things that you can encounter in a book that uh, literally takes you anywhere. Sometimes uh, it's actually a downer than when you go somewhere um, after reading about it in the book because it never matches the great things that are actually written. That's my experience anyway. I'm a neuroscientist by training. But uh, I, in English literature classes, as I think, is where I really learned how to uh, do an in-depth analysis on complex materials. And scientists write complex materials, but those materials are written from a perspective that the scientist has. And I think one of the things you have to do is, when you're basing your own work in that kind of literature is to do that complex analysis of, of, of those ideas. And I thought I was better for it because of uh, English literature courses I took. I think if all English lit classes were canceled, canceled there'd be very superficial analysis of work that other people have done. I don't think you'll get the great insights that come from uh, in the science community from when, when people are putting the work that they've done in the context of the literature that exists but that was written by other people. I love English professors, <laughs> and I, I had some good ones uh, all the way from high school into uh, into college. People that were really inspirational, and and I think that's that's what's great about a department like at Ohio State here. It's uh, great inspirational people.